the story I'll be reporting on today is unique in that it occurred in front of all of our eyes on that fateful night on February 7th, 2021. That night, Super Bowl commentator and former NFL quarterback Tony Romo appeared on screen for approximately 18 seconds with what is unambiguously a damp spot of urine from not shaking his wiener after he peed. This is the story of the leak of Tony Romo's leak. The events begin shortly after the conclusion of the weekend's solid B halftime show. Jim Nance and the semi-incontinent Romo are shown on screen for a total of 30 seconds, with Romo's hands initially arranged so that they're covering up what we now know is at least three to four cubic centimeters of his own urine. The drama ensues when Nance asks Tony Romo what Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs need to do in order to come back. While answering, Tony Romo's passion for football education gets the best of him, as he raises his hands to gesture, and in doing so, reveals human piss on what we can safely assume are a $7,000 pair of nice gray slacks. And so, just as Kansas City Chiefs fans struggled to shake the feeling that Tom Brady and the Bucks could not be defeated, so too did Romo struggle to shake the last few drops of piddle out of his little Tony. After establishing a clear timeline, I went to YouTube while the suggested search for Tony Romo P initially appears promising and suggests a wide awareness of this event. Actually, clicking the search button tells a different and frankly concerning story. You'll note that the top four results combined for under 35,000 views. 35,000 might initially seem like a high number, but to contextualize this, an estimated 96.4 million people tuned in to Super Bowl 55. This implies that, at the most, about 0.4% of viewers turned to YouTube to confirm their suspicion that Tony Romo's leaky penis had discharged a decent bit of tinkle into his very expensive slacks. It is also worth noting that the video with the single highest view count is a clip from Stranger Things, where Eleven uses her powers to make a young bully soil his chinos. Now, Tony Romo sympathizers and the CBS media machine might have you believe that it wasn't a pee stain at all. Tony Romo probably likes chicken wings, so maybe it was the chicken wing grease. I don't buy it. Through experimentation using a prosthesis, I was able to personally confirm that the location of Tony Romo's damn spot is precisely where unshaken drops of pee would have come out after Tony Romo took a halftime pee. And I also sincerely doubt he was eating while commentating on the biggest sports event of the year. He makes $14 million a year to talk about football and pissing his pants aside, typically conducts himself with the utmost professionalism. For all of us at Rob Court Media, I'll close with a final piece of wisdom. Shake it once, that's fine. Shake it twice, that's okay. Shake it three times, you're playing with yourself. Shake it zero times, and you are going to pee your pants a little bit. Hey, uh, thank you so much for watching. We had a lot of fun making it, and I hope you had a lot of fun watching it. If you haven't already, uh, why don't you go ahead and click subscribe down there, um, and comment something that you liked. Uh, it would really mean a lot to us. <laughs> uh, have a great day.